Hello everyone and welcome. So I'll show you how to upload images to your Express Node.js API, how to store them in the database instead of the file system, and then how to retrieve them and serve them back to the user. I'll be using Express and Node.js. Obviously, the body parser connects to interact with the database, and in this case, I'll be using a SQLite 3 database, but you can use any database uh, you like. And I will be using the Express file upload package to handle file uploads obviously so first of all let's install the express file upload this base template you can find in the description below and it's basically just a hello world express app with connects connected to a image.db database a sqlite 3 database that just has one table image which has an id uh, column which is auto incrementing its primary key and then has a name and an image column and that's about it so we up uh, we installed the package um Let's just copy some code from the examples. Uh, basically, the main things with this package is that you need to remember the name of the input because that's going to be the uh, where where the file you uploaded is located. So if your name is foo, it will be in files.foo. In our case, I made the name pick, so it will be in files.pic. And that's really it. Then, then there's some basic properties that each image has. The name, which we will use for the name column and then the data which is the buffer that we actually want to store in the database and then return to the user at a later date so let's copy some code from the example so copy this paste it here uh, copy, and then initialize the middle one right here below the body parser and we're good now we want to actually create a route for upload for you know uploading images uh, i already set the route here to be slash upload so I'll do, I'll create a slash upload route. So a post route slash upload. It will be an async route because, you know, interacting with the database is asynchronous. So we want to await some stuff, you know, connect stuff. Okay. So first of all, um, we want to get two things from the request files, which uh, will be the name, I believe. Yes, the name and the data from request.files.pic. So this will contain the name and the data which contains the actual image, a buffer in those two variables. Afterwards, we wanna uh, put these two into the actual database. So we wanna await connects.insert. So insert, we wanna insert the name, which will be the name. And then we want to insert the image, which will be the data into, we want to insert all of that into what? Into the image table. I believe I named the image. Yes, I did. Okay. And after that's done, after the image is newly inserted into the table, we want to response send status. We want to send the status of 200, which means everything. Well, well, we can also put all of this. So what we can, we can do is, is we could check stuff here. So if name and data both exist do this else ooh, else uh, response send status 400 bad request because if they don't provide a name if there's no name and no data of a file then they didn't actually send the file, so we don't want to actually insert anything into the database, so this won't crash. Okay, so now if we start our uh, API, okay, if we go to my app and we choose an image to upload, let's upload uh, this one, upload a file, response is okay. If we actually check the database, as we can see here, the name is snoobies13.jpg. ID one and then the image is uh, just a blob, but okay. So now I'll show you how to actually show this image back to the user. Let's go back to the code. So for that, we'll create a get route. It will be slash photo slash, and then I'll put the slash image actually. Slash image slash, uh, and then the ID. It will also be asynchronous since we're using connects to interact with the database. Okay. so. We need to define the image ID, or we can just get the ID equals request params ID. What we want to do after that is query the database. So we want to say const image equals await connects the 
our connects and then from the image table we want to get wherever the id is equal to the id we want to get the first one and then we want to check so if image exists we will return it else we will response and no such image no, no image with that id and then if, if there is an image with the id we want to do response end and then send back the image dot image this might not be the best naming convention because we just we want to get the this so we're going to get whatever is in this column because that is the actual data to show the image but this is really the simplest way to display it to you you obviously might want to rename some of these things and make it a bit cleaner and nicer um code wise and more readable but I'm just trying to do it as fast as possible and as cleanly as possible for you. So if we now go to slash image and then uh, slash one, we will get this image. Basically, that's it. So let's upload a few more. Let's upload all four. So let's upload the second one. Let's upload the third one. Let's upload the fourth one. Okay, so now if we go to, we'll go to the database. All of them are in the database. If we do slash image slash one, this is this one slash image slash two. It's this one slash image slash four. Is this one slash image slash three? Is this one slash image slash five? No such Im no image with that ID because you know you took care of that case. Now you should maybe also wrap this entire thing in a try and catch block so that if, if there's issues with the database, it can also return the issues inserting the image into the database or something like that. But this is the most bare bones basic way to store images on the back end in your database and then send it back and display it to the user. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned uh, something new and goodbye.